Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Lemmings World Tour. If my voice sounds a little different, it's because I am recording this on a brand new uh, headset. My old one was kind of falling apart, and I'd been using it for years, and it was resulting in a couple of audio glitches that were occurring. So if I sound a bit different, that's why. I tried to buy the exact same model that I had last time, so hopefully the changes are minimal if there are any noticeable ones at all. But I just wanted to preface that in case you're like, whoa, already sounds kind of different. Just it's a new headset, trying it out, and it hopefully should result in an overall better audio quality experience. Now, having said that, we're not here to talk about my headset. We are here to talk about Lemmings. We have cleared the tutorial rank. We have cleared all of the main ranks, and now we're on the bonus ranks. So we're first going to start with the Encore rank. This rank features levels that were included in some of uh, Strato's other level packs, Strato being the person that, who created Lemmings World's Tour. So I believe this takes levels from Pitlems, Paralems, and Lemix, which are three of his other packs that he made. I've played, I've definitely played some of Lemix, I think I've played some of Pitlems, and maybe some of Paralems as well. I've played a good amount of these, so... I might see some familiar faces in this rank, and from what I've heard, at the very least, the beginning of the rank is going to be incredibly easy compared to all of the Legend and Rockstar levels that I've done. So we might be able to blow through a whole bunch of these in one go, but let's start. I also think this is where the rock and roll theme of Lemmings World Tour is going to kind of take a day tour, since these are just uh, levels from his other packs that weren't made with music in mind. We're on level 1, Lem Out of Hell by Meatloaf. 10 Lemmings, we got 10 to be saved, and a locked 99 release rate, okay. The main show may be over, but there's always a time left for some good old evergreens. Still, live... Still, live... Oh, I'm sorry. Not live. Still, live you often play a little differently than in the studio, and therefore some of these levels actually have different solutions now. Okay, so maybe he's changed some of them. Oh. Oh, this is, like, really easy. Like, super duper easy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you were not joking. <laughs> this is like a tutorial level. We'll just make free triathletes. They can swim through lava somehow. Climb up here. Hit the ceiling. There's one pixel of ceiling now. You had to add that in one of the updates of Elite Neo MX, because they used to just... If there was no ceiling there, they wouldn't climb up to Oblivion. They would literally just hit in the invisible ceiling and go down. If that was too easy for you, try simulating the frenzy gimmick by leaving the fast forward switched on and not using the pause button. Okay, I'll challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I will do that. Wait, oh. Pfft. Artie, you can't have... You can't have the... Your replay going. Alright. So... Oh, that's how it goes. Oh, pfft. No, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So, yeah, that was taken from his Lemix pack, and Lemix being a Lemix being a pack that revolves around the gimmicks that the Neo Lemix engine can actually use. So that utilized the Frenzy gimmick, where the fast-forward button was always pushed, and you couldn't use pause. However, I'm pretty sure in the update, since they've patched out the gimmicks, because nobody really used them, I'm pretty sure fast-forward is faster than it used to be, because I fail to see how that would even be possible to click that to do everything that fast, especially with a trackpad. So, no, I won't be doing that. But uh, so uh, some some of these might be like as an added as an added like challenge. Try doing it with this gimmick. All right, level two, Splish Splash by Frank Sander. We got ten lemmings. We only have to save one. Okay, nice looking crystal level. Once again, it looks like a very very simple level. Wait, can we? Okay. Yeah, this should be easy. Yeah, this should be very easy. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way I could uh, do these levels without the pause button. The pause button's my favorite button in Lemmings. Thank you. 
Yeah, we just trap them all in here. And bada beam, bada boom. That was easy! Well, that's gonna be the, the running theme for these early levels. Let's see if we can knock out 10 in one video. That was fun. Again, these are basically tutorial levels, so they're, I like them. Tutorial levels are hard to mess up. Level 3, Dead Limbs Tell No Tales by 10. For any lemmings, we can kill up to 20 of them. Wow. How cruel of us. Aha! <laughs> Love it. Let's blow some stuff up! That's easy. Oh, this is easy. This one I will attempt without the pause button. This is similar to the um, destructive skill tutorial, or destructive skill, sacrificial skill tutorial I did in Art Limbs. Whoops. Guess I couldn't achieve my desire of beating this without the pause button. Didn't even need to do that. And now we need to avoid the bubbleizer trap. I forget that that trap has a bit of a large hitbox. Okay, so I had to rewind. Big whoop. I still saved three extra lemmings. All right, nice levels. I, I like I like tutorial levels. I like levels that I can solve quickly. It's raining lemmings. Hallelujah. By the Weather Girls. I'm pretty sure if a psalm has hallelujah in it, it's probably a Christian psalm, right? Maybe. Well, 80 lemmings, we can kill up to two of them. I wonder... Well, gee, I wonder which, uh... What skills we're gonna need. Oh, man, this is like that, um... There's a Lemmings Revolution level called Lemtris, where it's literally like a target shooting game where you've got Lemmings falling out of hatches at different rates. And you gotta make them all floaters. Thankfully, the pause button helps out with this. No, I'm not really paying attention to where the lemmings are going. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. Well, let's see. Bomber dick. Cool. Oh, I guess we should probably make a bridge wall. Maybe? Oh, well, we'll have to build up here, actually. Oh, never mind. We'll cross the bridge of them turning around and running to the cliff when we get there. That's the last of them. There, now they won't climb out. We build all the way up here. Like so. We get up here, and we... Nope. <laughs> There's a pixel left. We'll have to be patient. There we go! And they all go to the exit! yippee ki -yay. What a wonderful day. Alright! I feel like there were too many lemmings on that level. Again, this is probably made for no pause button. So... If no pause button would make that a little trickier with all of the falling hatches, that would make it like Lemtris from Lemmings Revolution. Still a fine level. Again, these, these levels aren't quite as good as the uh, Lemmings World Tour levels, but, you know, these are the cut levels for a reason. Level 5, Defying Gravity from Wicked the Musical. I, that, yep, that's the showstopper song. Ten Lemmings, we have to save them all. And we're in the sky. 
All right, uh, glider, glider. And then we... One builder. Oh, we build to the... What? That seems very easy. Are they all just gonna fly right to the exit? Well, let's let's see. Where do you fly? Oh no, you don't. Okay, I see where the walker is gonna be used. Right there. Now I think they should all go to the exit. Yep, there we go. Easy level. Why did we have ten walkers? We only needed one of them. Da -da 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 -da. Wow, we actually might go for more than ten levels of this video. We're just ripping right along. Level six, get low. Ooh, I will. By Little John. <laughs> Robin Hood, Little John, walking through the forest. Twenty women, and we have to save all twenty of them. Okay, this is, um... This is easy. This is really easy. Unless I'm missing something. Don't we just dig under all this? Oh, okay, there's a little more to it. There's a little more to it. Okay. This might be a little tricky timing this just right, but I think we literally will just dig and bash in such a way. Whoa, that is not what I wanted to do. So we wait, wait till they get right before they turn around. Dig and bash immediately? Oh, they did turn around for some reason. Weird. Alright, let's try Dig Bash. Why did he turn around? S no, I... He's turning around before he actually reaches there, which is not supposed to happen. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, maybe this will be a little trickier than I thought. Well, they did they did say to get low, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get lower than that. We're going to get that low. So what if we do something like that? Yeah, but I don't want him to bash through all of that. Why did he turn around? There's this makes no rhyme or reason. Sometimes he turns around, sometimes he don't. Hmm. I also don't like how th this time it just doesn't line up properly. Like for some reason, when I do this, when I bash from this point, they don't line up nearly as nicely. Like, why are they all... Why is there one guy who walks here, but the rest are all clustered over there? Don't, don't make sense. Maybe if I have them dig as soon as they do turn around. Well, no. Not when he's in that state. You know, the annoying thing is I can see the solution, it's just too fiddly. I don't like that.
See, but that time... Yeah, I don't understand this, folks. Okay, hang on. Okay, he's... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this. What? Why? What? Okay, right here. Make him a blocker. Dig, bash. There we go. Okay. I don't like that level just because it's really fiddly. You have to hope that there's a lemming that's turning around right at the point where he reaches this narrow path. It's a little too fiddly for my liking. Like, it's a cool solution, but it could have, like, if you had extended the platform that the exit was on to give more time for the lemmings to walk, that would be appreciated. Because, again, I saw the solution, like, instantly. It was just... Took a while fiddling with it to get it right. I'm not a fan of those solutions. Level 7, Lock Lemon by It's a Traditional Song. Forty Lemons Got to Save the Mold. Wonderful. I, lo I do love the Highland levels. Those are nice. Well, gee, wonder where we're going to be using the vast majority of our uh, builders. I love how we get, we're getting She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, an extremely, like, American tune in the Scottish levels. Now here's a question. Oh, okay, yep, they will survive that fall. Glorious. Now we just have to build them up. There we go. Level solved. That was considerably easier than the level that preceded it. Everybody's going to the mountain like the song said. That's definitely a welcome change from the last one. Again, nice architecture. I like this. I like the Highland levels. Those are generally pretty pretty. Level 8, Divided We Fall by Gary Hughes. 40 lemmings. we got to save all 40 of them. Oh, it's sp a splitter tutorial. It's We All Fall Down. Okay, guys. You know, oh, you know what we're going to do. Okay. Not 99, not 99, but we're going to start with 90. There we go, and now we're going to crank it up. How? One, two. And now we just do the same thing on the other side. This, folks, is the true way to solve We All Fall Down. <laughs> Beautiful. We didn't need all those diggers. We got away with saving. We could have even gotten away with fewer than that, but I just didn't want to fiddle with the release rate to make that happen. You only need four build We only need four diggers to solve that level. Nice job. All right. I like We All Fall Down, so that was a welcome change, and there was a little twist added to it, so great. Level 9. Shalem Shavirim. A traditional psalm. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that. But what else is new? Ton Lemmings got to save them all. Oh, uh, it wouldn't. Well, we wouldn't just have a basher, or we wouldn't just have two bombers now, would we? Okay. All we got to do is get a lemming around. He can climb up, and let's see. Well, actually, hmm. Ooh, it looks dangerous. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I got a clever idea. Sorry, I still got the Scottish accent going. Uh, I didn't really want you to die. Let's try mining, like, down this way. No, I don't want you to go that way, you lackwit. There, we stall him by making him a climber. Alright, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. I, I can only afford to use one builder. That's not okay. Hmm. Oh, a new idea. 
how about... Well, first off, if we dig here, I think he actually might just be able to glide on over. Which would be hunky-dory. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm evil like the fiends that scratch! <laughs> Not really evil, but definitely finding a more efficient solution. Beautiful! Da -da 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 -da. Now that is an efficient solution, if I do say so myself. I saved a couple skills. I'm pretty happy with that. Excellent. That was a fun level. I really like that one. Level 10, Blood for the Blood God. Well, there's only one god, and I don't think he's described as the god of blood anywhere in the Bible, but probably not a biblical reference. No, it's not. It's not by it's not by one of the biblical authors. It's by debauchery. I, I don't think any of the books in the Bible was written by someone named debauchery, but all right. 80 lemmings, we, ha we can kill up to 30 of them. I was about to say we have to kill 30 of them. We don't have to. If we're sadists, we do, but nope. Okay, this, this kind of reminds me of there's a lot of them about from Tricky, where you've got the two hatches in the fire level, and they both have to get to the exit, which is high up in the middle. Okay. Um... Okay. I can work with this. Let's do that. This seems like a relatively simple level. Let's crank up that release right now, folks. I'm going to try to minimize casualties if I can. Now, is there a way we can bomb someone in... Oh, wait. Oh, crap! I just realized that blocker is too close to the other one. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that. I like this level. Simple, but... Like, it's a fun obstacle to get through. And again, I like, I like, I don't know if this is intentionally supposed to be like a reference to there's a lot of them about, but I definitely am getting those vibes, and I like it. I like references to the original lemmings. And I might as well take my time with this level. Because I'm taking my time. Yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bomb one of the lemmings in here. Undercut the blocker. They can go up on this bridge, and now they can start carving the path ahead by using climber bombers. They'll have to build up to that, but that's a small price to pay. Now we do have to be careful not to waste all our bombers, but that should be fine. Oh my gosh, that's the cluster of 36. That's that's funny right there. <laughs> cool. Now they just have to build up to the exit. This guy's got to build up here. We'll let you climb. <laughs> and blow you up. Boom. Now we just build to the exit. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. We saved some extra lines. 
And we can blow these guys to kingdom come. And everyone gets to the exit, except those ten lemmings that sacrifice themselves. Your sacrifices are not in vain, it was for the greater good, but yada yada yada. <laughs> I am not a sadist for lemmings. Level t 11, Mary had a little lamb. Wow, that's definitely... <laughs> <There's... laughs> Watch out, there's traps about. Oh, I love this. I love seeing an actual, honest-to-goodness, original lemmings level that is reimagined. I, I really like playing of the original lemmings levels. <laughs> This is great. A repeat of taxing two. Mary had a little lamb. This is this is about as traditional as you can get. A hundred lemmings. We can only kill four of them. Seventy release rate. Two. I see. <laughs> a disarmer on. Watch out. There's traps about. I love it. Okay. Well. Very. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure you only need one builder to get up there. One or maybe two. Maybe two. We might be able to get across there with. Uh, Two platformers as well. So who comes out first? You come out first. All right. You're gonna disarm. You're gonna platform, and then we're gonna have another stacker back there. All right. I really don't want to lose any lemmings to the trap, so. Let's make you... <laughs> let's stone ya. Because we also need some time to get the lemmings across over there. This actually might be a tricky level. We're gonna need one basher for there, one basher for there, one basher for there, and then one basher... For okay, so that's all... Uh, those done. Oh, actually, wait. No, you're gonna need to platform there, buddy. Because you need to seal these lemmings in. Oh, wait! That's not good, though. Those guys are being held back. But I also put a stoner there. That's bad. Also, would a single builder even be enough to stop them from splatting? That's something that we should think about. Oh, wait. We don't need... Or we can use a stoner. That's a good idea. Let's use a stoner there. Boom, 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 boom. Uh -oh. That dumb lemming, though. Alright. What's the least valuable? I think a builder is, believe it or not, the least valuable. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, no, no. Here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna stone. You're gonna keep platforming all the way across, like so. Now we can build them over. I would be nice if I could isolate two lemmings. Like here. I'm gonna This is definitely not intentional. This is definitely not required, but I'm gonna up the flow control big time here. And then lower it so that these two lemmings get very close together. Actually, wait, that might be a little too close together. We'll have to see. I don't want them to be so close together that they both get past him after he completes the steel trap. I think that's... Yes! I think that's exactly what we want. So you stone, they go through. Yes! This armor reaches first. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. You platform all the way across. Guy who is not a disarmer can go down here, stone to break the fall. And now this lemming is isolated and he can carve the path to the finish while the rest are all trapped here. So now we can bash through that stoner and max out the release rate, and we can build over that stoner to get them out. And now we should have enough stuff left. Okay. Perhaps we need to build over this. Well, hmm. Change of plans. We're going to bash them out of there. Because I forgot that the uh, the bones are kind of hard to get through. Yes, you disarm that. I like. I really like the twist of watch out. There's traps about, but you've got uh, disarmers. It's really cool. Can we use one builder to get up there? We can. Booyah! Excellent. All right. Now we can either save the basher or the builder. Let's save the builder. Now everybody should go to the exit! Woo! That was that was probably my favorite level of the day. 
I love playing original Lemmings levels, but with the twist of the new Neo Lemmings features. It's generally very well done, and that was very well done. I really liked that. I really liked that. That was a lot of fun. Alright, we beat 11 or 12 levels. I actually lost track today. That was awesome. Yeah, we definitely ripped through the first part of that Encore rank. Maybe we'll only need four videos to get through the whole rank. That would be very interesting. Anyhow, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. More Encore levels, because apparently the crowd still wants more. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.